What's up guys, Justin here of Yigatech. And if you've been waiting for it, Xiaomi will soon release the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here in the Philippines. Although we don't have the official price yet, we've already been using it for quite some time already. We made a separate video for our full review of this phone, so if you want to check that out, we'll put the link in the description box or here on the upper right corner. Now you've read a title. In this video, let's see how it fares against its predecessor, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Can we consider it as an upgrade or a downgrade? Let's find out in this comparison. Before we get into it, here's a quick rundown of their specs. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Alright, starting with design. Both phones are honestly large and quite hefty. The Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G sports a flat-edged style with a frosted glass back. Meanwhile, the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a glossy, curved glass back panel. Nicely, these two phones are IP53 splash and dust resistant, so some rain or accidental splashes should be fine. There's still a resemblance between the two's looks, but personally, we are more in favor of the updated Note 11 Pro since it's less prone to smudges. When it comes to display, surprisingly, we're getting almost the same screen on both the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. We're looking at a 6.67-inch screen size with Full HD Plus resolution and an AMOLED panel. The refresh rate is also the same at 120Hz as well as glass protection which is Gorilla Glass 5. What's different though is in the touch sampling rate. The Note 11 Pro 5G has 360Hz while the Note 10 Pro has 240Hz. This only means that we're getting the same sharp screen with punchy colors and deep blacks and smooth animations and transitions from both devices. But the newer model responds faster in registering touches which could provide an advantage when playing competitive games. Under the hood, the Note 11 Pro 5G uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 with Kyra 600 octa-core CPUs and an Adreno 619 GPU. On the other hand, the Note 10 Pro has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G with Cairo 470 octa-core CPUs and an Adreno 618 GPU. Now before you start thinking that the Note 10 Pro is more powerful given that it's a 700 series, take note that the Snapdragon 695 is a newer chipset made using the 6 nanometer process compared to the Snapdragon 732G made using the 12 nanometer process. This results to an improved performance and power efficiency. Now looking at their Antutu version 9.3 benchmarks, the Note 11 Pro 5G got a score of 380,251, while the Redmi Note 10 Pro scored 287,695. You get the difference. As for RAM and storage, we're getting the same on both devices. That's 6 or 8GB of RAM and 64 or 128GB UFS 2.2 internal storage. The difference here is in the micro SD expansion. The Note 11 Pro 5G has a hybrid setup while the Redmi Note 10 has a dedicated slot which sure is an advantage. Looking at their camera specs, the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G has a triple rear module consisting of a 108MP main, an 8MP ultra-wide, and a 2MP macro. And then the Redmi Note 10 Pro packs a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 108MP main, an 8MP ultra-wide, a 5MP tele-macro, and a 2MP depth sensor. Undeniably, this gives the latter an advantage in zooming and in implementing blur effects in portrait mode. As for selfies, both have 16 megapixel shooters. One thing we emphasized in our Note 11 Pro 5G review was its lack of 4K video recording option. We never really thought that this is something the brand would remove since having it for mobile videography can be a lot advantageous. You can only shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, so if you want that 4K video capabilities, then it's the 2021 Note 10 Pro. Connectivity-wise, the two are pretty much identical. They have dual SIM, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, GPS, USB-C, IR blasters, 3.5mm audio jacks, dual speakers, and side-mounted fingerprint scanners. Well, of course, their biggest difference is in 5G connectivity, which the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G only has for faster mobile connectivity in areas with coverage. In terms of battery capacity, the Redmi Note 10 Pro wins by having a 5,020mAh battery, which is just a 20mAh difference over the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. However, the latest 11 Pro 5G has a significantly faster charging rate of 67 watts compared to the former's 33 watts. As for battery life, we can look back on our reviews and see how they performed in our battery tests. Even with a slightly smaller capacity, the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G wins with its 22 hours and 30 minutes of playback. 
compared to the Redmi Note 10 Pro's 19 hours and 32 minutes. When it comes to price, as I've mentioned earlier, Xiaomi PH is yet to reveal the price of the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G here in the Philippines. Meanwhile, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is currently available in Lazada for 13,990 pesos. Given everything that we discussed, it's obvious that the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G only got a number of notable upgrades such as the 5G connectivity, 360Hz touch sampling rate, improved performance, and faster charging. However, this also comes with a few downgrades like the lack of 4K video recording, slightly lower battery capacity, and a hybrid SIM card slot. If you're coming from the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it's not the best upgrade unless Xiaomi places a convincing price tag on the 11 Pro 5G, which we'll know very soon. We'll update you guys in the description box once we get the official local price. And yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts about this Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G and last year's Redmi Note 10 Pro in the comments below. Do you think it's a good upgrade? Let us know too. And like usual, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe!